hey youtube welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be a pregnancy update yay i'm so happy this is my second pregnancy update today i am currently seven weeks don't mind me i'm looking down at my averia pregnancy app to get some notes here it says that baby is the size of a raspberry so that is tiny yes as you know i went to the clinic on january 31st um to do another round of betas and also an ultrasound and surprisingly betas did go up my second um my second beta test was 18 so as you know it went from 10 to 18. when i went to the clinic on the 31st it went from 18 to 126 so it jumped up i'm so excited um i'm not out the woods yet although we did see um the sack and everything we did not hear or see a heartbeat and um, my OB said that it could have just still been too early um, because when I went I was six weeks and two days yeah six weeks and two days so I'm scheduled to go back on February the 12th um, to do another round of betas and a vaginal ultrasound um, this time. The first ultrasound was the regular um, ultrasound, um, but my second ultrasound will be a vaginal ultrasound. And at that time I will be um, exactly eight weeks because it's exactly one week from today when I go back to the clinic. So I'm excited. I have just ordered some more baby stuff and I cannot wait for it to come. And also I had my prolactin levels checked because I thought maybe my prolactin levels was um, out of range or maybe too high. And that may have been what caused my chemical pregnancy back in November. But my prolactin levels are within normal range. And I know this is TMI, but the reason that I was concerned about my prolactin levels is because when I squeezed my boob, I had um, milk discharge, milk, whatever you wanna call it, come out. And this was before um, I found out I was pregnant. So this was way back, like every month I had that. So I was like, maybe my prolactin levels are out of whack then it my body may think that i'm already pregnant so i can't get pregnant or i won't get pregnant and i had this worry about this prolactin level every month but surprisingly there is nothing wrong with my prolactin level and i asked my um midwife because i am going to do um a midwife and she's at the clinic with my OB which is great um, and she said that there is no reason some people just have milk come out there is nothing wrong with it because my prolactin levels are in range so I was super excited about that so I know that my prolactin levels are not out of whack um, which is a good thing so also my progesterone was um, a little low so my doctor put me on progesterone pills um, and I couldn't I wasn't doing well with those pills 
So now I'm on a progesterone cream. Um, and I put it on every morning when I get up. I rub in a hundred milligrams. And it comes with a little spoon. So the spoon, um, one one spoonful is a hundred milligrams. Two spoons is two hundred milligrams. So um, I take a hundred milligrams a day, and I can rub it on my neck, my chest, my inner arm, or um, my inner thigh. Um, so I've been rubbing it on my inner arm and on my inner thigh um i've only been on it for maybe well a week because i got it when i went to the clinic on the 31st so yeah i'm so excited i do have an ultrasound picture uh, if i can find it I might have to. I did post it on Instagram. <laughs> I posted it on Instagram early because I was so impatient and I couldn't wait until I did the update. So, yeah. Oh. I don't know if you can see it. Yay, there we go. It's focused. There it is right there. I had to have them tell me where baby was because, you know, I could not see. So she told me where the baby was. So I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm just going to keep my fingers and my toes crossed that when we go back, and do the vaginal ultrasound that we can hear or see baby heartbeat. Um, I'm not going to worry about it too much because my numbers did go up. So that means that baby is still growing. Um, so yeah, I'm still pregnant. <laughs> I count my blessings week after week, after week, after week. And I'm still blessed. I'm still blessed to still be pregnant at this moment. And I'm going to enjoy it. So, I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to keep my head up. I'm going to keep praying. I'm going to cross all my fingers and my toes <laughs> that I stay pregnant. So, <sighs> I'm not going to make this video too, too long. I just wanted to get on here and give um another update since i did go to the doctor last week and i felt like every time i go to the doctor i want to bring you ladies along because you have been with me on this journey so i want to let you know everything that happens and i want to do a video and upload it every time i go to the clinic so you ladies will know all of the information that i know so yes anyway don't forget to like comment subscribe and hit the post notification button so you can be notified every time we upload a new video give this video a big thumbs up and please 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 comment and tell me how you ladies are doing and where you are at in your journeys how far you are have you received your big fat positive um or if you are just now getting your tubal reversal um how is your recovery going and um when do you plan on starting your baby dancing what month you're starting to do your ttc i would really love to know how you all are doing doing and even if you're not a tuba reversal sister you're still a tt sister so still let me know how things are going for you down in the comments i love this ttc community i absolutely love it 
Um, oh, I do want to give a big shout out and a big congratulations to Miss Adonia. Congratulations, girl, on your big fat positive. I'm so happy for you. We are going to be bump buddies. Hey, now. Yes. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so I did notice on your video that you would be due in October and I'm due in September at the end of September So that is right around the corner from each other <sighs> Yes, congratulations to all you ladies that have received your big fat positive Congratulations, we're all going to be bump buddies 2019 is everybody's year We're all going to be pregnant at the same time We are all going to give birth to some beautiful babies in 2019 Or the beginning of 2020 Yes, we are <laughs> I'm believing in that I'm believing miracles will and can and do happen every day. Yes, they do. Okay, you guys, I'm going to end this video. So, until next time, baby dust to you all. Okay.